good that we were able to play a team with a different color uniform. And I thought uh, <coughs> overall it was uh, filled with surprises. We had some guys that had been in our program make a couple of mistakes that uh, were uncharacteristic. Mistakes that you cannot have and be successful. But it's also October the 17th. And uh, it's kind of ironic, don't we open the 17th of February? So when February the 17th gets here, if we make those mistakes, we're in trouble. But that gives us an understanding as coaches and players that we've got to work harder. Now, guys, we've said it all along. This, this league of ours is getting tougher every year. Uh, you play teams that were in postseason play last year in your non-conference games. We've got a very challenging schedule. We're, we're pretty good, but so is everybody else. And we've got to work hard in the off season and get stronger. I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys look like when they come back from a organized program that Seth Deiters, our strength coach, will put them through. I like the makeup of the ball club. I'm just anxious to see who really comes back in January when we start back. Oh, Lord, it's going to be cold. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it's fun to watch them improve. <clears throat> So I'm, I'm excited to uh, to get to that day. You happy with Jackson uh, in the ball really well Thursday, Friday, tonight? Kind of good presence going into year two for him. Jackson is a guy that number one surprised us last year and worked his way into the middle of the lineup. Uh, We've got, of course, two guys, as we all know, not available right now. Uh, I have made out a lineup, although I piddled with two of them this morning at 5.30, just to see what it would look like. We got a chance to have uh, a lineup that's, that's very different than any that we've put out there before. But then again, all of these other teams have outstanding players that are returning. So we have to temper any uh, of this because this game can humble you. We got to just understand that we got to get better. We, we, we can't make mistakes like we made today and beat anybody. Not, uh -uh. not in this league and not against Florida and South Florida, Central Florida. But we play some directional schools, don't we? <laughs> but anyway, it's uh, it's been a good fall. We've learned a lot about our club. And we do have some very impressive returning players. And we've got some that are going to make them better with the competition. I mean, everybody's fighting for a job. That's good. thought our pitchers did a, a good job today overall. But, uh, I, I, I just, I, I just like this. I like this baseball club. I, I like the the makeup of them. Is there anything over the last couple of days that you didn't get accomplished that you hoped you would have seen? I think today woke us up a little bit as a coaching staff, and and, and, and there was indications that a lot of things we need to be sure we cover quickly because uh, some of those mistakes were inexcusable. Uh, you keep mentioning the mistakes made. Um, what have you seen out of this ball club just from this fall that uh, maybe makes you happy about uh, or um, gives you hope for this next year as compared to the end of last year? Well, I think 
the, the only way I can answer that question is once we get two guys back, it's kind of almost 25% of our offense is unavailable right now. And when those two guys get back and Busby jogged today, he's, he's, he's recovering quickly. Let's, let's, he could be ready to go in six weeks. But I think what we learned is that the young guys are pushing the veterans. The veterans, I noticed uh, Taylor Walls today encouraging uh, Tyler Daltrey when Daltrey made a base running mistake. <laughs> Taylor goes over to him and says something like, learn from it. Instead of, what the heck are you doing? You got nobody out and you get thrown out at third. It was a, it was a classy move on his part. Taylor Walls played on the USA team. He's the first team All-American. That really shows me that the leadership of the team is evident. So I'm learning that the guys understand they need to get better. Are they willing to really put out in that weight room and in the uh, speed and conditioning that we're going to be working? We just found out you're opening the season with VCU. It's a team who's had some recent success in their conference especially. Do you like giving yourselves to your team kind of the challenge of going up against a team like that from the get-go this season? Yeah. Uh, the fact that there are no pushovers on our schedule is good for everybody from our team trying to prepare us if we can get to the postseason. It's exciting for our fans. Our fans don't want to come out here and see another team make four or five errors. They want to see a competitive game. Uh, VCU, if I'm not mistaken, went to Miami in a regional two years ago. They can play baseball up there. We got a third baseman pitcher from that state. His daddy happened to pitch for me. But Trying to remember who else we played now. Why, why, why you put me into that test? <laughs> um, anyway, we know that every weekend, every game is going to be fun. We just better better play better than we did tonight. Sounds like you're pretty comfortable with the leadership and the depth of the roster. Um, are there any areas of improvement or? all around a good ball club. I want to be sure that I temper this comment. I will just say I like the makeup of this team. They're doing their job in the classroom. They're working hard out here. The competition is excellent. I was kidding. Uh, all-American catcher, freshman All-American catcher. I said, well, three catchers, two of them hit home runs. Who was the other guy? And he just laughed. But at the same time, isn't that great that the two backup catchers hit home runs? So we do have some, some competition. There's a couple of uh, jobs still open, but the guys that are you know, figured to be the starters, are good teammates in trying to help others and put them in a position to make us successful. Coach, you've been here for many years. Is there anything different that you're bringing to this upcoming season? Anything different that I'm bringing to what season? To the, the, this upcoming season. Oh, the upcoming. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the upcoming. Uh, We've got some possibilities to so-called do damage. I mean, you put uh, Busby, Mendoza, Cal Raleigh, Quincy Naporte, Taylor Walls is not a home run hitter. But you put four guys in the lineup 
if I'm sitting on the other <laughs> side, I'm saying, my gosh, one bad pitch, this game, we could be behind. That's something that uh, every coach strives to have are game breakers. We've got some game breakers on this team. We're not going to do a lot of sacrifice bunny. We're going to give guys opportunities to, to get it done from that standpoint.